Welcome back everyone. Congratulations on you if you just went ahead and picked up a Samsung Galaxy Watch, whether it's the 4 Model 3 or any other Galaxy Watch, it's pretty much the same process to use. Now on the outside, hopefully by the end of this video, you have a decent understanding of how to use this watch. Now on the front, we have a beautiful display. Depending on which specific model you get, you have a couple of different options. Now, if it's your first time actually booting up this watch and you haven't paired it yet, I have a few videos already on my second channel of how to pair and unpair it, which I will leave linked down in the description. So it'll get you through the basic setup process. So I'm hoping you already have your option of, you know, booting up into the watch itself. Now on the outside, like I mentioned, you have your display here. You have a power button on the right side right here, and you have this little back button. So this back button pretty much just lets you go back. It's kind of like a home button, but if you're in a panel, it'll allow you to go back, which is really cool. You can hold down this button, and you can go ahead and map it into Samsung Pay, which is really cool. So if you hold this button down, you can get into Samsung Pay. Clicking back will take you back home. So this button will double as a Bixby button, so you can go and hold it down and unlock Bixby. Now scrolling out of there, on the side of this, you don't really have too much going on, which is good. You have your bands on the top and bottom, which is awesome. Flipping it over to the back, you have a little charging block right here. So you can go ahead and place your little watch on the designated charger right here. Go ahead and place it on the back, and as long as it's plugged in, it'll start charging your watch. The charger does come into the box itself. Now you also have your watch bands. You can take off your watch band by finding the little lever right there. You want to go ahead and pull that lever down. So you can pull it down just like so, and you can pull it off just like that. It's kind of a tedious process. You may want to use like a SIM card eject tool. If you have a long nail, you can go and kind of lever it out. So go ahead and pull this down like so, and you can go and pull it out. And you can go ahead and change and unlock your bands that way. It's kind of the same process to go and bring it back to. So go ahead and do this. Bring it in like that, lock it into place, and you're pretty much good to go. You can do that for both the top and bottom bands. Now that's pretty much everything on the outside. Now you can turn on your watch by looking at your watch like this, and it'll typically turn on. You can also turn off your watch by slapping it on the top like that. You can also turn on your watch by clicking on the button on the side, and it'll also unlock your watch this way too. So now you're on your home screen. So there's a couple things you can do. You can always customize this home screen as well. And by doing that, what you want to do is you want to go ahead in order to do that, you want to understand this layout first. So you have the time here. You can customize your specific screen by holding it down. You get into this little page. Now you can swipe between different options you have here. So you can switch it to this page. You can switch it to this one or any other one that you want to choose. This one looks kind of cool. You can go ahead and, all, but there's a lot you can choose from at the top. You can see where this is only like the third one. You can also click the customize button. And you can go ahead and customize the little you know options you have here, essentially the little widgets. So it'll tell you exactly what to do. You can swipe left between all these widgets. Okay, you can swipe down to choose different things, whatever. And from here, you can go ahead and choose whichever little widget you want to go ahead and change. And you can go ahead and change all these other complications, which is so cool. And that's pretty much it. You know, that's a great way to go ahead and customize your Galaxy Watch's front panel. Now that's just with the front panel. If you want to go ahead and get into some more options of your watch, you can swipe down from the top. You'll come into this page. Now this is essentially your little control center of your watch. This is really cool because you can have some quick toggles where you can go ahead and kind of modify. So on the top left, you have your little bedtime thing, which is cool. You can see your battery percentage up here as well, as well as how you're connected to your specific little you know, thing, which is Bluetooth you know, being enabled. You also have a little power off menu here. So if you want to power off your Galaxy Watch, all you have to do is click on that you know, little option here. You can go ahead and turn off. You can also customize your touch sensitivity here. Now you might be asking yourself, well, how do you go back to the main page or the last page you were just at? Well, in order to go back home, you can go and click this button right here, the top button, which is almost like a home button, and it'll take you back into your main screen. However, let's just say we scroll down once more and we come here. Let's say we don't want to go home. We just want to go into the page we were just at before. We can click this bottom button and it'll take you essentially back into the same spot unless you were in, you know, like a settings page, for example. Then if you click the back button, it'll take you back into essentially back into the you know main page. But essentially, the next one is a settings you know, button. So you can click on settings. You'll come straight into your settings panel, which we'll get into in a second. Going back, if we click here, you can also swipe down again. You'll get into a couple other options as well as you know, vibrate and you know, a little sound icon. But as always, if you look at the bottom, there's dots. Whenever you see dots, for the most part, that basically means that there's more to be seen. So you can swipe to the side. And you'll have a lot more options, including power saving mode, a flashlight. If you want to enable a flashlight real quick, you can click onto the flashlight option and choose there. You can go and click the home button again to pretty much go out of it. Swipe down once more, swipe to the side. You can also see your Wi-Fi option as well as your brightness. You can click here and change the brightness by scrolling over and scrolling top. If you want to go and change the brightness there, so clicking out of here once more, we can click here, swipe all the way to the end, and you'll have a couple of more options. You can also click the plus button here sometimes to go ahead and add more toggles, which is so cool. So I'd recommend going through and seeing which ones you like adding and pretty much go from there. Now you can see I clicked the back button there. You can see that option did allow me to go back. So sometimes some options allow you to go back, some don't. 
Now, if I go and click the home button, we can come back here. Now, that was swiping from the top to the bottom. If we swipe up, you'll see a lot of different applications we have here. So what we can do is we can scroll through here, and I'd recommend going through and seeing which applications you like, which applications you don't like. Some of the most ones I use most of the time on any watch are the phone calls, messages, the Play Store, which is your app store, your settings, and quite possibly that's it, some music icons as well. You can also access your camera of your Samsung phone via this page as well. So if I went ahead and talked about every single application, we'd be here for 50,000 minutes. But the thing I'd recommend, you know, kind of getting used to is opening up your Play Store right here and just kind of understanding how and, to, and the way to basically download applications. Now you can see it may tell you to prompt into, you know, loading an application or accessing your Google account, but it's pretty much a really easy process. There's nothing super crazy. But I'd recommend going through here and just understanding that process. Clicking the back button again a couple of times will come back into our main panel. Again, going into messages, you can pretty much see your messages of your you know, Samsung app as well. Going back here, you can see your phone calls and everything too, which is really cool. You can access your maps and there's just so many applications here. But again, for every phone, it's going to be, a, and for every watch, it's going to be different. So again, go through here and see which specific applications you like. Swiping down, we can also swipe to the left and we'll be able to see a couple of different notifications. We can see update watch, we can see, we can just go through here, we can see settle lock. So these, so these are different types of notifications we have. We can scroll all the way to the end and click clear all, and we can basically come here. If we scroll back, you can see the same type of thing here, click clear all, and it'll just basically just a permanent you know, little, little notification that's there. We can also swipe to the side here. We can get into our different pages. So a lot of these things are different, you know, fitness related activities. So this is like how many steps I've had in everything today. This is, you know, I can choose a different workout I'm doing. This is body composition. This is sleep. This is weather. And there's a lot of other stuff here. So I'd recommend going through and understanding each of these little complications as well. When you scroll all the way to the end, you can pretty much make your way all the way back. I think you can also click up there as well. But you can scroll all the way back to your main page. And that's pretty much it. Now, another big thing is with the settings page. So let's go and scroll our way up right here. And let's go and click on settings, which is right here. Now, when we click here, there's a lot of different options, like I mentioned before. So we have connections, which is like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and different things like that. We have notifications, sound and vibration. We have display, which not only talks about the brightness, but you can also choose auto brightness as well. You can do an always on display if you'd like, which I kind of like too. And there's a lot of other options here. So you can go and scroll through here and choose whichever one you want. You can also click the back button again, which is the bottom one, and it'll take us back into our previous page. Now we can scroll through here. And like I said, there's a lot of different stuff here. Battery mode has a lot of different options as well. You can turn on power saving, which is really cool. Clicking the back button again, we can choose and you know manage our different apps. We can click on general, and this has a lot of different things too. Our touch bezel, text to speech. And if we go ahead and turn on touch bezel, look what happens. We can have it on, we can choose it. So if we go ahead and kind of turn, we have a lot of different capability here. Scrolling back, not only can we go and click this back button and scroll back, we can also grab the side and bring it back as well. So just like on our phone, we can also go we can also drag this little side down too. Sometimes some people don't really like it. We can also scroll back here. We have accessibility settings, security settings, privacy settings. There's so many different settings here, but a big one is software update. A big thing about any Samsung device or any device in general is updates. So we can click here and we can actually update our specific watch as well. So we can install this update now if we want to, or we can just continue on with it. We'll just continue on in this specific situation. Click the back button. You can scroll down here. We can click on about watch, and this is where you can get more information about your watch itself. So not only can you see, you know, which watch you have, but the serial number, how much storage you have, the device, and you can scroll all the way down, and you can actually reset your device to somewhere. But that's typically it. You click on battery and see a little bit more information about your battery, as well as the battery capacity as well. So once we're done here, we can go and click on the top button, which will take us back home. And that's pretty much a basic layout. Now, again, you can go ahead and customize whatever you want. You can add different widgets here, different, you know, applications. Click here. You can get into the heart panel. So much different stuff you have here. So I'd recommend kind of going through and understanding the watch as best as you can. But this is a pretty basic layout of how to essentially use your watch, any Galaxy watch for the most part. Hopefully by now you have a good understanding of this. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.